Ladies and gentlemen, welcome again to the EMMA booth on the Sigre 2022. Today we have a technical talk and I'd like to welcome our managing director, Mr. Breuer, next to me. Hello, Mr. Breuer. Thank you, Mr. Gebauer, and it's great to be here. Well, we talked already about the VIL, uh, the new VACOTAP VIL in yesterday's session with Jürgen Schwarz. Today, we want to go a bit deeper into the details of the applications. Well. If you look behind me, you see the VIL here. The VIL is quite our largest step changer. And we have a maximum current of 3,200 amps. We have a switching capacity of 10,000 kVA. And we have a rated step voltage of uh, 6,000 volts. Well, this does mean we have an extended performance range compared, range compared to previous models. Well, let's have first a talk about the use in transmission networks. Well, where do you see the advantages for the transmission networks? Yes, thank you, Mr. Gebauer. The uh, first application in the transmission and network is, of course, large-scale phase-shifting transformers, which, for instance, are now added in Germany, especially to facilitate and optimize north-south power flows, as uh, wind power is in the north, solar in the south, load centers in the south, and uh, with uh, phase-shifting transformers with a high phase current, the existing network can be optimized, used, and therefore the VRL 3200 is a very ideal product for this uh, phase-shifting transformer applications. And that is, of course, an example from Germany, which is probably um, in a different uh, scenario also applicable, applicable in the energy transition in many other countries. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, by the way, last week I visited a transformer factory and they were building a similar large phase shifter for the US, for example. Well, the first installations of the phase shifters have been in Germany, was an application with a 2000 MVA rating and currents close to 3000 amps. We got the first inquiry for that or the first request for that in 2018 and delivered the first products in 2020. By now, behind me, you see the fully industrialized product, which is now applicable also to other applications. And when it comes to the other applications, I want to mention one with a very high number of operations, and this is the application in arc furnace transformers. Uh, when we talk about this application, what do you think is special about this application? Yes, arc furnace transformers are uh, another application where is an ideal fit to the uh, features of the VRL 3200. Um, foremost to mention is the extremely high uh, switching frequency um, of up to 300,000 switching cycles per year um, applied to the tap changer. Um, and uh, typically arc furnace transformer are operated at medium voltage levels like 30 kilovolts, but therefore at the relatively high currents up to 2,000 amps or even higher. And the combined um, high current and high switching operation duty makes it an ideal application for our VRL 3200 um, in lieu of our so far leading oil tap version R for this type of um, um, applications. Okay, thank you very much. Well, knowing the in operational parameters of these arc furnace transformers, we have reduced the switching capacity a bit uh, compared to network applications. We have 6,000 kVA as a maximum switching rate, and nominal switching rate, and because we do know that uh, there are overload situations in these kind of um, in these kind of applications, and we have taken this into consideration. Well, there is something I now saw. Uh, in our portfolio, which is brand new, and it's called Vacuum Interrupter Monitoring. Can you tell a bit more about this feature? Yes, uh, thank you for the question. Um, MR indeed uh, did already years ago uh, in-depth uh, measurements um, at existing uh, arc furnace transformers. So MR did measure the actual switching operation, the switching duty, the currents during the arc furnace process. And what we found out is that there is quite a big bandwidth of uh, switching uh, duty from zero or no load uh, switching operations to medium and partial load operations, but also quite a number of full load operations of the tap changer. Um, 
traditionally, the tap changer has a fixed maintenance period. So regardless of the actual switching duty, the maintenance is required after a fixed number of switching operations. And with the vacuum interrupter online monitoring, we are able to optimize the maintenance interval to the actual switching operation um, which happened in the field. Like for instance, at the end of an arc furnace process, the tap changer is moved into a starting position, which is usually a, a, a process which takes place with zero load, and these kind of switching operations can then be disregarded. Okay, thanks. I think now I do understand the results of this analysis. I remember mostly we used the old type M or old type R now for arc furnace transformers, and they had the fixed intervals because of the carbon and the, 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 the particles. They came from, from the arcing in, in the oil, and we could increase the intervals with taking out these particles with an oil filter plant, but we still had fixed uh, maintenance intervals, not considering the real load current that uh, the tap changer is taking. Well, uh, with this new feature, I think we can define the maintenance profile much better than before, and I think it's more depending on the real load profile of the transformer. Yes, that's right, Mr. Gebauer, and it is um, optimizing the OPEX and maintenance costs for the um, operator of the ARC furnace, especially also the process of the utilization and the maintenance uh, interval um, requirements are due to the online monitoring permanently visible. So there is a much better planning of the um, next uh, maintenance um, um, uh, exercise. Um, which gives a higher increase of security of minimum maintenance downtimes and optimized costs for the operation of the tap changer and the entire arc furnace process. Well, thank you much for this detailed operation. I do think this is a great feature that we have now on board to optimize also the maintenance planning because I do remember or I do know from the guys who plan with the operators the daily maintenance is in arc furnace that it's quite a job to do that, and if we can reduce this work, I think it might help the operators. Thank you very much for the dialogue. Yeah, and uh, thank you very much for the questions. I still like to underscore that this is a unique feature what we are offering with this tap changer. So it is really a new innovation into the market, and we appreciate any um, contact and customer um, ex uh, exchange here during the secret conference on our booth. Thank you very much, Mr. Gebauer. Thank you. We have come to the end of our show. Uh, I think we will continue the streaming tomorrow morning. Uh, we will again have uh, some technical talk tomorrow and we will again have some other features of the VRL 3200. I think the streaming will start at 9.30 a.m. tomorrow morning. That's it for now. Have a good day and goodbye. And of course, if you want, come to our booth S153 on floor one at Sigre. Bye. <laughs>